Horizon Forbidden West is one of the best looking open world games on the PlayStation 5 and not just because of the graphics, also because of the absolute perfect HDR implementation. Now of course the question is, after the fix for the PC version, how good is HDR actually on the PC? Can it actually keep up with the absolute awesome PlayStation 5 version? And the very clear answer is, yes, it can. The PC version is on the same great level as the PlayStation 5 version. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. Let's take a closer look on your PlayStation 5 versus PC in regards of HDR. But again, there is not much difference, actually. So the only difference what we may spot is in regards of resolution and yeah, yeah, better graphic quality on the PC. But in regards of the HDR implementation, PC version and PlayStation 5 version are, in my opinion, very identical. So let's talk about the HDR settings, what we have in this game. And again, we're talking about the PC version, which is slightly different compared to the PlayStation 5 version. But no worries at all. I made a video about the PlayStation 5 version already, not just one actually. And it is still valid, this video. Okay. So today we're focusing on the PC version. Okay. So what we have is the HDR Max Luminance slider. We have the HDR Paper White setting, HDR Shadow Boost setting and the HDR Highlight boost setting and I would say we're starting with the HDR maximum luminance setting. And the HDR max luminance setting is quite simple to set up because all what you need to know is the maximum peak brightness capability of your screen TV or monitor. So in my case I'm using the LG G2 for demonstration here. This TV has roughly a maximum peak brightness of around let's say 950, 1000 nits. Okay, So if you set this to 1000 nits on the LG G2 you will be fine. For an LG CX, I would recommend roughly around 800 nits. For S95C, roughly 1300, 1400, a little bit hard to tell, but the same counts for the G3. And for all the other TVs, newer TVs like the G4 or S95D, just max this out to the maximum level, which is unfortunately limited to 1500 nits. So that's actually the only complaint what I have right now in regards of HDR in Horizon Forbidden West. So the next setting, the HDR paper white setting is a very important one. I mean, all the settings are very important. Otherwise you have a bad HDR experience, but the HDR paper white is the average picture brightness from the whole picture. Okay. So that means if you set this to low, the picture looks very dark. If you set this to high, the picture is very bright, but you will lose, it's just washed out, okay? You will lose a lot of details in very bright objects, okay? So very hard actually to make a proper recommendation because it really depends on what tone mapping format your TV is using. If you use HGHG, dynamic tone mapping on or any other tone mapping format, or maybe you play in a very dark room where you like to set this a little bit darker or you play in a very bright room where you need a little bit more brightness, okay? So this is really something what you need to figure out for yourself. I would recommend that you stay between a value of 200 to 300 if you can. Because what I found is at some point on my LG G2 and any other TVs, especially OLED TVs, the higher you get with paper white setting, at some point you will just lose very fine details in specular highlights. So what I would recommend, so let's say you have an LG G4, okay? Lucky bastard. Anyway, um, let's say you have an LG G4. So I would set this to 1500 nits, the maximum peak brightness. And then you start with the paper white setting, let's say at 280, okay? So you jump out of the game and you look at very bright objects, speckle highlights, okay? So if you can see still very fine details in, then you're still fine with the maximum, with the paper white setting, okay? Because at some point you will see when we jump in here again on the display dynamic range and we let's say we're just increasing this to the absolute maximum. 
this is completely blown out now, okay? So it doesn't look nice anymore. And the maximum peak brightness doesn't get brighter at some point because the G2 is already limiting, okay? So this is, again, a very simple test actually to see how far you can go with the paper white setting. But again, I would actually try to stay in a range between 200 to 300. But again, this is just, yeah, according to my LG G2 CX, okay? Different TVs may have a complete different setting. So put this in a comment section if you have a complete different setting and yeah, I'm more than happy to test it. The next setting is called HDR shadow boost setting and this one is actually very interesting because first of all, I'm very sure that they changed it with the fix for HDR because now actually when I'm decreasing this, it's actually getting brighter and when I'm increasing it, I'm having less details in shadows, okay? So this is completely opposite as on the PlayStation 5 and I'm very sure before the fix it was also like on the PlayStation 5, now it's exactly different, okay? So if you like to have more shadow details, you need to do it minus or you need to go into minus and if you like to have less or a way darker picture in terms of shadow details, you, you have to go into plus, okay? So, but my recommendation is actually do not touch it, okay? Because what I found is that the HDR black level floor in this game is spot on. The only thing what you can do is maybe decrease it, in this case decrease it, so that means give, if you like to have a little bit more details in shadows, then go go minus one, minus two, minus five, whatever you like, okay? But if you increase this value, that means you will lose a lot of very fine details and shadows. And again, with setting zero, the standard factory setting, HDR, black level floor is already spot on. If you play in a normal lit room, not a very bright room, then again, I would not recommend to change the HDR shadow setting. And last but not least, we have the HDR highlight boost. And this setting is a very important one because yeah, at least according, or in my opinion, the standard factory setting is not the best way to play this game, okay? So first of all, do never, under no circumstances, decrease this value, okay? Because you will just flatten out specular highlights, okay? So what I would recommend is actually that you Try a setting between, let's say, minimum plus five up to plus 10, okay? So if you like it a little bit more decent than plus five, if you like to have um, a very poppy and if you like to have very shiny specular highlights, let's call it like this, then try a setting plus 10. Okay, my friends, that's it in my opinion, because I think that's the last video about this game forever, because everything is done. PlayStation 5 is running perfectly. HDI is great on PlayStation 5. Now this is fixed. Everything is hunky-dory. So unless there will be a Xbox release at some point, I think I'm not covering this game anymore. So I mean enough said about this game. Absolutely to recommend. And now with the PC version and um, I'm playing this game on a 4080 with a AMD 7950X 3D. This is absolutely perfectly running. There is no stuttering, nothing, no flickering, no issues at all. Yeah, sometimes you have a little bit pop-ins and uh, some um, assets are loading a little bit um, not fast enough, but this is really complaining on a very high level. Absolutely on a very high level. This is technically almost perfect in my opinion, okay? So and now after the fix in regards of HDR, this on a TV like that, and I have the S95C in the other room, I tested it over there, it's, it's wow, it's absolutely superb. So if you are very lucky and you have already a S95D or LG G4, that's a showcase for HDR. If you like to impress your friends or whoever, get this game, play it, Regardless, PlayStation 5 or PC, HDR is great and on both or on both platforms. Get this game because that's an absolute HDR showcase. In my opinion, one of the best open world games in combination with HDR. What was ever made. Okay? Thank you very much for watching me. I see you guys next time. Bye.